Hello class, in this video I'll demonstrate the workflow of UV mapping and in the end we'll have a base mesh with a nice UV map that allows us to sculpt the model and texture paint the model. Alright, so here we're going to select all of the meshes and send them to Modelbox as a new scene. You may receive this error message and just click on keep all. Uh, the error message happens because we have more than four edges connected to one point on the eyeball. Okay, so we can ignore it. And uh, here we're going to select the mesh and hit Shift D to smooth it uh, for one level. And we're going to create a sculpting layer and use the grab tool and uh, check on mirror on X axis. So basically for this step, we just uh, want to refine our base mesh for one level and, uh, and adjust the shape a little bit. And you may also select this material um, so that way the model is not highlighted and then you can use the sculpt tool to sculpt and uh, sharpen some of the uh, edges. And here for the inner mouth, uh, I'm going to push the meshes in. So you can uh, hold on control and scope so you're going to invert the function you're going to push the mesh in and same thing for the ear i want to um, dig a hole in there but not too much Okay, so anytime you see the mesh is kind of distorted, you can hold on shift and sculpt, so that will smooth your mesh. And here we can sculpt um, on the joint of the finger to get some base shape. And remember that in this step, we just uh, want to sculpt some um, base shape a little bit, you know, uh, not too detailed because we only smooth the model for one level. You, you definitely you cannot sculpt a lot of details, right? So just oppose the base shape. Okay, and then here I'm going to save the scene and then I'll also export all the models to a OBG file. I prefer to do this way instead of um, update the model directly in Maya 
because you know I'm gonna have separate files. So here I'm gonna create a new scene in Maya and drop the models in. And if you see the hard edges, just soften the edge. And here I'm gonna duplicate the body mesh and name it the shirt and hide the original body mesh. So basically I'm gonna use this mesh to make the shirt. So I'm gonna uh, grab the faces that I want to make the shirt and I'm going to apply extract. So make sure all of the faces um, have selected. You don't miss any face in the back. Okay. And we're going to do the same thing for the pants. So select the faces, double check to make sure you select all of the faces and then extract. And then you'll select the meshes and uh, freeze transformation and delay history. And hold on shift and P to move them out of the group. And then you can rename these uh, models. And then you can go to the hypershade and create uh, two material, um, each material with a different color, and apply these materials to the uh, to the mesh to identify them. And then uh, the body mesh and the the shirt and the pants have some overlap area. So here we're going to use the insert edge loop tool to create edges on the body mesh. So that way we can denote all the faces in the center. Okay, so now we only have one row of faces is overlapped. So we can select the shirt, uh, select the uh, boundary edges, and we can scale them up. And then we can select the edges and uh, uh, extrude and change the thickness. So we can make the thickness for the shirt. And then here you can extrude again and uh, push the edge loops in and scale them up, uh, scale them down. So if our audience look very close to our model, they still cannot see uh, the, the seam. Okay, so this is what we created so far. And then same thing for the pants. So we're gonna select the body mesh and uh, use the edge loops uh, to cut a few places and then we can delete the faces in the center. And then we're gonna select our pants and select its uh, border edge loops and uh, scale them up. Okay, so here we're going to select the edge loop um, and extrude and push it in and scale it down. Same thing as what we have done on the shirt. And then once you finish this, we're going to enter the face selection mode and delete half of the faces. I'm going to Duplicate it, put it in the group, and uh, flip it. I remember to freeze transformation and DNA history once you've done that. And then we're going to combine them together and select the center vertices and then merge the vertices. So it will be a one mesh again and it will be um, symmetry. Okay, so here we're going to see the file step three base mesh dressed. And I want you to download uh, Maya bonus tools. So in the lab, we already have this uh, installed. So if you're using your own computer, just make sure you install it. And then you're going to go to plugin manager and make sure uh, the Unfold 3D plugin is uh, enabled. And you will find it under the bonus tools. So we're going to load UV unwrap tool and select the mesh and click on continue. And then you can select any edges that you would like to be the texture border the UV border and select the edge and just click on add border and select uh, the edge loop on the neck 
and then here under the arms. And uh, double check to make sure you get all of them and uh, then click on continue. And if uh, the UV looks good, just uh, click on down and then you can go to the UV editor and you will see that the UV has been unfolded and uh, organized it. Okay, and same thing for the pens, we're going to uh, use the UV unwrap tool. And we're going to cut from the side, so we're going to put the texture border on the side. And also make sure to get the edge loop on the top and uh, on the bottom. And then continue and check to make sure the UV is fine. And then if it is good, click on down. And then the body meshes are a little bit more complex, so it all requires more time. So here we're going to start work on the hands first. So just cut from the center. And for another side, also cut from the center. And then for the fingertips, I would like to cut um, a few edges on the fingertip, so that way the fingertip can also be fully unfolded. Otherwise, imagine if you don't cut on the side, you know, if, uh, if you want to put all of the faces on one plane, on, on a 2D plane, the UV is going to be distorted. Okay, so cut from this side, and then it will be fully unfolded to a plane image. And then for the body, uh, for the belly, just to cut from the side, and then the foot. You're gonna separate the foot from the neck. And then you can cut from the back. So just a double click to select the whole edge loop. And then you can select the edge in the front. So select the first one, double click on the last one, and then you're gonna select uh, this area, and then you can remove the border. So you're gonna remove that uh, texture, that UV border. Okay, same thing for the toes. Here we're going to also cut a few edges so that faces can be fully unfolded. And for the head, we're going to cut the ears first. So select this whole edge loop on the bottom of the ear, and add the border and then cut in the center. So it's gonna separate the front face and the back face. And same thing for the other side. And then for the inner side of the mouth, we just going to select the, uh, the whole edge loop. And then add border, so you're gonna separate the inner mouth from the head. And then for the bottom face, for the jaw, we're also going to select these whole edges and add border, so you're going to separate that piece. And for the inner side of the eye, nobody going to be able to see it because of the eyeball, right? But uh, it's still better that we can separate the UV. And then for the nose, around the nose, we're also going to select a few edges so we can fully unfold the UV in that area. And same thing for the jar. Okay, so once, once you've done, just click on continue and double check and make sure everywhere is unfolded and you don't have any issue, and if everything is fine, you can click on down. If there's an issue, you can click on go back and continue to add edge or remove edge. 
And then once you've done, go to the hypershade. So basically, by default, you're going to apply this uh, checker material. So here we're going to select each um, object and apply its original materials. I'm going to uh, create a bunny material for the body. And we're going to apply this material to both the uh, body mesh and the eyeball. And then here we can delete the unused nodes. So we're going to delete the material that we are not in use. And then for the eyeball, um, we can apply a planar mapping and uh, project from the camera view. Okay, and then we can select the edges, the edge loops. And then we can cut its UV, and then select one UV, any UV, you know, and you can hold down control and uh, right click, so you'll be able to go to the UV shell, so you can separate those three pieces. And for the center faces, we can just select the edge and cut, and then unfold the UV, so it'll get it flattened. Right, and then um, scale, um, scale them down. And uh, because we are applying same material with it, uh, with the body mesh, so we'll need to make sure their UV doesn't have overlapped the part. And double check and make sure you have applied the body material to both the body mesh and uh, the eyeball. And then select all of them, freeze transformation and delete history. And here I'm going to save as a step four. And this is how the UV looks in Philo. Okay, and uh, in next step, we're going to move on to uh, model box. And we'll start to sculpt our model and we'll uh, texture paint our model. And in the end, we'll extract the texture maps so we can use the texture map on our low polygon mesh.